Hi there, my name is James Nightingale and at the time of filming this video I am a fifth year mechanical engineering student studying at the University of Nottingham. And since March 2022 I have been making videos around a whole wide range of topics. And in the past I've said I don't really feel the need right now to niche down into one sort of single topic. Until now. I thought it was finally time to define a little clearer about what I want to talk about, just so you know exactly what you're subscribing to. And if you don't fancy it, then that's absolutely fine as well. So let me take you through the vision. Effective work and rest. Learning together how to work and rest well. If you struggle with concentrating at work, balancing your work and rest life, anything else around this area of working and resting, then this might be a good place for you to hang out. I'm certainly not going to claim to have all the answers. I mean, I, I am fully aware I'm only 23 and I've only had a, a real job for over a year. However, as I go through my journey, I hope to be sort of an encourager for you going through your journey, helping you to work and rest well. And I will do this by talking about these two main topics, work and rest, and by experimenting in these areas, trying to find out what things work and what things don't work. So I just wanted to jump in here and quickly break down sort of some subsections within work and rest. So there's sort of six key areas I wanted to focus on. So starting with work, uh, the first thing really is productivity or this area of you know, being productive with your time. The second really is this area of technology. And the reason I really wanted to include this is because I love technology, I'm an engineer. Uh, and also I've really enjoyed making videos about technology and people have been quite interested in those videos in particular. And then the other third area within work I wanted to talk about was sort of careers or particularly early careers advice and how to sort of start off in a job well because I certainly feel like I know a bit about that. And particularly early careers is sort of where this channel started is where I mainly talked about um, starting a placement and interviewing different people who had done certain jobs. So that's sort of where this channel started. So I wanted to keep that. Now moving over to the area of effective rest. A particular thing I wanted to talk about was rhythms or sort of practices that we can include in our days to help us to rest better. That's that's one thing I really want to focus on. And the other area that I wanted to talk about was sort of this area of health. So things like sleeping well, eating well, that sort of topic area. And it is reasonably broad still. And then that final sixth pillar sort of ties everything together, which is effectively how to balance the two, um, which I think will be quite interesting to sort of tie in the whole uh, topic area. So hopefully that gives you a quick rundown of the sort of subsections within work and rest. Something I've mentioned, and I will say it again and repeat myself, I'm not going to try and be a guru who's an expert in this area. Instead, I'm going to try and be more like a guide where I sort of help you through uh, this journey of work and rest alongside you, not from this place of knowledge because I don't have a huge amount of knowledge or experience. So does that sound interesting? If so, great. Let me tell you a bit about how I got to this point. So at the start of 2021, when the UK entered its third lockdown, I was feeling very low about life. I felt quite trapped. I felt like we'd been here before and I just didn't feel like there was much going on and was quite down. And a lot of my friends were struggling with this too. And after a bit of moping around, I decided to finally do something about this and start to actually learn new things and try new things. The first thing I did, which was very important, was I got out all of my old Lego Star Wars kits and just rebuilt them because it was quite fun to get creative. Now sadly, that is not what obviously this YouTube is gonna be about, although that would be fun. But I also downloaded Audible, who are kindly sponsored, no, they're not sponsoring. I'm, I'm not big enough yet. But I did download Audible and I decided I wanted to start learning new things. So I downloaded a uh, book called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry because some of my um, family had read it before and said it was very good. So I decided to give it a go. And ultimately, this book uh, led me down this path of work and rest, or at least it was the starting point on this journey. Now, I'm not gonna do a full book review, thankfully, that might come later down the line, but just know this. For the first 22 years of my life, I absolutely hated reading. I could barely concentrate whenever a book came in front of my face, partly because I was dyslexic, partly because I'm also an engineer and really don't care that much about reading. But I decided to give it a go anyway, and obviously this was through an audiobook instead, which was a bit easier. And as I listened to this book, I was completely captivated by its message. I actually made notes whilst uh, read, listening to it, and I finished it all within a couple of days. Obviously, listening to it is easier to finish it quickly. And what happened next was that I just started trying to share what I'd learned from the book with anyone that I 
would listen to me, my family, my friends, even those who'd already read it, I wanted to tell them again what it said, just because I was so inspired by the, the stuff it talked about. And effectively, it talked about this area of work and rest, and really what it talked about was practical sort of practices and rhythms that we can put into place in order to live healthier lives amid a crazy, fast-moving, fast-paced world. And the short answer is, it's really not very simple. Anyway, this kick-started my research into the area. And as I sort of escaped and came out of this lockdown slumber, the third lockdown, I actually interviewed for and received a job offer for my job that I was doing last year on placement. And this is really the start, the second pillar of, of why I'm doing what I'm doing now. And as I started working, I realized something. If I'm going to be working for the rest of my life, I better do something that I love, or at least something that gives me a lot of pleasure doing for the most part. Now there were certainly a lot of things that I loved about my job, but it definitely lacked in certain areas, such as creativity. Plus I was learning so much from my first year of work that I just wanted to share it with people. And that is how I effectively created the YouTube channel, uh, as a place to share it with people. And it obviously tied in a lot with my area of making videos that I love to do. And if you want to know more about that, you can watch my video about why I started YouTube. It's, it, ties in a lot with what I've talked about here. And as I started sharing a bit more about my job and what I was learning, people did seem to find it quite interesting. Now, obviously there's not loads of people on this channel, there's only 120 odd subscribers, but it was really cool to see some feedback from people saying how they found it useful. Um, and that sort of just helped me to keep going. And, and now I'm about 32 videos in. And now I'm wanting to sort of think a bit more intentionally about what I'm talking about and what I want to talk about in the future. So all of that hopefully shows you why I want to talk about this area of effective work and rest and effectively why I created a YouTube channel. So if you stuck around this long with me, then thank you so much. And, and I really hope that you'll join me in this next phase of the YouTube channel as I sort of dive deeper into this area of work and rest. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.